one over here first we have to select a new assembly design then unclick the use default templates click millimeter newton second assembly design then click ok first we have to insert the component which we previously created and save select a corresponding component then click ok now we have to apply the constraints for the component I am going to apply the constraints such as a fixed constraint then click OK again we have to insert two more components go to the assemble and select assemble choose our corresponding component and move it by using a triad and place at the required positions cam is a rotating element so we are going to apply the pin type joint here so go to the user define constraint and select a pin type then we have to select a corresponding axis of the cam and a shaft now the pin joint is applied after that we have to create a new constraint in the type of coincident so select a front faces of cam and a shaft now the connection definition is successfully created here we can rotate the cam in one direction just click ok at last we have to insert a one component such as a cam follower go to the assemble select assemble choose our component and open it By using a triad we can move the component at the required positions. Here the follower is create a motion at up and down. So we have to apply the sliding joint. So go to the user define and select a slider joint. Then select a corresponding center axis of follower and a hole. Now the sliding joints is applied here. Then we have to apply a one more constraint because the follower cannot need to rotate so we have to arrest the rotating motion of follower we need to apply the one more constant select a front face of follower and the front face of base element now the distance constant is applied successfully the connection definition is also created successfully after that just click ok for apply the mechanism we are going to create a translation movement so go to the applications and select a mechanism inside the mechanism we have to select a cam mechanisms select a cam in a cam one we have to select a reference surfaces we have to select a outer faces of the cam as a references so select a corresponding faces for creating a mechanism after selecting all faces just click the middle button of mouse now the cam faces is successfully selected then go to the cam 2 we have to select a follower faces then click the middle button of mouse just click ok then we have to apply the servo motor for creating a rotating motion select a center axis of the cam for applying the servo motor because cam is rotating element the servo motor is successfully applied main thing is in a servo motor we have to specify the angular velocity so just right click on the servo motor symbol and edit the definition and go to the profile details we have to specify the angular velocity in terms of degrees per second 
we have to specify the coefficient numerical value for the rotation after specifying the angular velocity just click ok after that we have to go for mechanism analysis for creating a motion or animation make sure that your part is assembled correctly then click the mechanical analysis here we have to specify the end time and a frame count based upon your requirement just click run for create the motions now the mechanism is successfully applied here the application of cam is in automobile sectors or engine to open the valves of engine to get the regular updates of my video please subscribe in my channel don't forget to like and share inshallah we will meet in next video thanks for watching Him. 